Hello everyone, this is Gisela. I am the voice behind the hands behind the videos. And I just received something that I thought you might find interesting. This is a parcel of things I have been buying and accumulating. Uh, they are from Argentina. And my plan was to go get them, but it's not possible to travel at the moment. So instead I got my family to send them to me. These are items that are a bit difficult to find in the US and in the UK and a whole lot of ponies that will make, I think, really good projects for the months to come. So let's take a look. So the first thing we have here are some masks. There are five different models. I think that's all the ones that they produced. They were made in 1984 by Hasbro in Argentina. And the elastic is still working, which is always good. We also have some Chromi trading cards. Chromi was a company uh, from Argentina that was very popular in the 80s and 90s. They did playing cards, trading cards and stickers based on lots of cartoons and TV series and movies. They are still quite easy to find on Argentinian websites. The condition tends to be not too good, but as you can see in these ones, the, the drawings are still clear. So I think it's quite a nice product to have. You can actually see all of this in detail in the video linked above. We also have a sticker poster and a sticker album. I'm not entirely sure if this came together. I think they might have. The poster seems to have less uh, stickers though. Some of these spaces for stickers are also quite big. So I'm not sure if you know anything about this one, please let me know in the comments. The album itself is from 1986. There are actually two My Little Pony albums, one from 84 and one from 86. The 84 one is very difficult to find. The 86 is a bit easier and well, it's also quite different. As you can see here, it comes with this little red cellophane square and when you place it on top of the sticker spaces, it shows you what the sticker should look like. If you don't use it, you can't really tell what's behind it. Then we also have a box of unopened stickers for this album. Although these are supposed to be unopened, the glue is so old that they're not sealed anymore. But I was lucky enough to find a few of these from um, a shop, some, some uh, stock that the shop had. So if you would like to have one, you can find the link in the comments and you can get some yourself. As you will see now, the condition of these stickers is not perfect. Some of the glue is showing through the paper. But these are 40 year old uh, products, you know, so it's... It's very difficult to find them in good condition. They weren't stored in the best of conditions either. The good thing is that you can still find them and you can still find the albums. So they're quite nice. I will now show you the ponies and you can maybe try to guess the names. This one will need some new hair and a general cleanup, I think. And we will have to redo maybe some of this ear and this other ear completely. <laughs> Poor pony. <laughs> and it is an Argentinian Ligeti split. This one has quite good hair. It will need some cleanup, maybe some symbol retouching, minimal. But yeah, doesn't look like it needs too much work. And it's Applejack. Next we have my favorite. Really good hair. Might need to try with some peroxide for the body. But really, really good condition in general. Symbols are not perfect, but I'm very, very happy with this pony. So can you guess who it is? And it's Gusty. With some bum thing. Okay, a hint. This one is difficult to say for me with my accent. <laughs> but look at that hair. I really, really, really like this pony too. It looks like it has some marks, maybe a little peroxide. But overall, great condition. Heartthrob? <laughs> a mystery pony. <laughs> Green unicorn, no symbols. I wasn't sure what this was first. I had a theory. I might be wrong though, so you let me know. Tuneful? Now this poor pony. Looks like someone tried to dye it, but didn't do a great job. There is also a mark here like a tweezers or something and it's another hot throat or her now some babies 
We have two very pretty no winged babies with no hair. Both made in Argentina too, as you can see. And they are Cool Breeze and Moonjumper. Next we have my favorite babies of this collection. Uh, this one will probably need some extra strands of hair and a clean up, but the symbols look quite good. Maybe a little retouching. This one, however, will need a little more work. <laughs> I think it's adorable. It was a rescue pony and it has lots of cuts and well, we will see what we can do with him. He's definitely my favorite baby of this lot. And can you guess the names? They're both baby butterscotch. This one is quite good condition and I don't think we will need to do much to it. It might go straight to my collection. Baby Bluebell. We are almost done, only two to go. We have this Pegasus with um, yeah, first tooth with some missing hair, damaged ear, some marks on the body. Good symbols though. Oh, and some bites, <laughs> it seems. <laughs> and it's baby Noddins. Noddins. And another spoiled baby. <laughs> we'll probably need a little more work, especially around the head area. <laughs> Some peroxide as well, and some bite marks. Might need some retouching of the eyes. And it is dun 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 dun, baby sparkler. <laughs> so cute. So yeah, that's all for now. Please let me know in the comments if you have a favorite and which one you would like me to do first. I hope you enjoyed my first ever recording. <laughs> and thank you for watching. Bye bye.